Okay guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now I've had a bit of time to fly around with this SEMA X11 quadcopter or uh, drone, whatever you like to call it. And this is pretty much my first one, so I can't speak with much experience. Only what I've seen with this little cool cat flies pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's a good starting point, I guess. Now I have it in um, mode 2, um, so it suits my uh, flying style. But let's, uh, let's get cracking. First, first off, battery time is roughly about you know four to five minutes at best. And if you use a stack, uh, the stock USB charger into a computer, it'll probably take you around about 70 minutes to charge. So, my recommendations: try use your hobby grade RC radio. It takes me about RC charger. It takes me about oh, maybe 19 minutes. Uh, pumping it, pumping in 6.6 of an amp into the small 200 milliamp hour battery. So let's get cracking. Now it's not too windy out here so I've decided to take a bit of a show you outside here. It's pretty stable, I must admit. Like it's it's going quite well there. And the good thing about it it it, it has two modes of flight so if you um if you feel more adventurous you can it has like a fast fast mode so if you click pretty much click this button here 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 it go again it's much much more responsive now see how much quicker you can fly it's pretty sensitive for a newbie like myself uh, maybe I can stick to the other control but it's not too bad I wouldn't recommend flying it uh, too windy places, but it, like I said, it hovers pretty well here. Cut my, cut my hedges there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the problem with this now, I'm just addictive. Now I want to get something a bit bigger. You can get different models with cameras and stuff in it and like I hit this stuff here it's very robust I've, I've smashed into a lot of stuff as you would for your first quadcopter but hey it's it's held up there's no damage at all and you can take this uh, out of cover off if you if you see fit but I'm pretty cool let's take it off the uh, deck here so it's very easy and inside it's even easier to fly They're very addictive, that's for sure. I see there, a bit of wind just, a gust of wind just took it. Doesn't take much, it's only extremely light, so I wouldn't recommend flying it outside if it's too windy, but hey, doesn't do any damage anyway. But yeah, it's pretty fun. I'll go for a bit of a walk with it. So that's pretty steady. As you can see there, I'm not touching it at all. But there you go, a bit of wind and it just, <laughs> I didn't touch it at all and the wind just blew it around like crazy. So definitely inside. Let's see if we can get nice and close. And I think the X11C has a video camera. Uh, so you can take video and capture uh, pictures, like take pictures on the flight. You can hear the gyro working. But yeah, it's pretty manoeuvrable. Even here, I'm just walking around with it. I'll try to go around this tree. And this is just a, this is just like I said, the, the standard mode.
yeah, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I just wish the runtime would have a bit more of a runtime, but these batteries are dirt cheap. They're just, just so much fun. Just something different than the normal uh, RC cars I'm getting into. And it seems like everyone's into this fad now of drones or quadcopters. Here in Australia, the law hasn't passed yet of having to register them, so I don't know how long that'll take, but I'm sure that'll come into effect now. We seem to follow everything the US does. As you can see there, as soon as a bit of wind gets underneath it, it'll just shoots up in the air. I've nearly lost it over the neighbor's yard a few times. See if I can get it to give it a nice hover. So I'm not touching the controls. There, I'm not touching the controls. It's, it obviously goes down a bit, but it's just very sensitive to any movement of wind. And, and when the battery starts to go a bit dead, the battery, uh, the lights start to flash, and then the drone will just stop. The batteries will just die, and the sorry, the motors will just die down. Not touching it there. You can also throw this because uh, of the gyro. You can just throw it in the air. It'll, it'll kind of level itself out. I haven't managed to do that yet, but I've seen it. I haven't just got enough room here at the moment. There we go. It's a bit calm at the moment, which is nice. You can see how it just much better inside. It pretty much just stays there. Now I'll show you one more time, you just push this button once and I'll go into the sports mode type of thing. Instantly, instantly goes so much quicker. Yeah, it's more addictive, that's for sure. And for, for the size, it goes pretty quick, I must admit. Bang. But hey, that's how we learn, hey? Yeah, the battery is starting to get a little bit on the low side. So if I, if I go forward fully, put the brakes, kind of levels out quite well. I don't know if I can show you here. There you go, the batteries are dead, see? It'll just start to wind down until it completely stops. So, that's my review guys. Hope you enjoyed it. For the price and uh, the, the, the amount of fun you have out of this, it's, it's great value. It's good to learn on. Extremely robust. And uh, yeah, I couldn't recommend it enough. This is my first one, like I said. So I don't really know much about them. But from what I gather, it's, it's, it's pretty good. A lot of the reviews online said it's great. So, yeah. Thanks, uh... Crazy Hobbies, where I got this from. It's a great buy. If you want to check them out, I'll leave the link in the description. So, cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.